YouTubers, it's me again. I am here to do my mama clock video. Um, I am in my bathroom <laughs> and I have my door shut so if there's a slight echo that's why. CJ is teething and hasn't been feeling 100% and she's still in bed um, and she sleeps in my master bedroom with us so I don't want to wake her. But I did want to go ahead and get this video up and going. I have um, several videos to do for you guys. So let me go ahead and start by showing you. Kind of, I'm on my toilet now, but um, how I have my bathroom set up. So here's the door. When you come in the door, it just, you know, the basic vanity. And then on top of the toilet, I have my mama postpartum bath, which I can link a video to um, in the down bar. It has everything that I'm going to use postpartum um, after I deliver my son. But then I decided to go ahead and hang my mama cloth. So I have it in a basket that I picked up at, I believe, um, Marshall's. But you could probably get one very similar at Target, Walmart, anywhere really. Um, and then down on the ground over in the corner here, um, I have just a little bin, I'll pick it up and show you guys, um, that I got at Dazio, so it was $1.50, which is a Japanese like dollar store, and then I have a scoop of OxyClean in it, so then when I have him, I'll fill it to about there with warm water, um, or cool water, you don't want hot, hot will set the stains. Um, and that is where they'll go for the couple of days before I wash them because you have to accumulate. So first let me go ahead and tell you about what research I did, why I decided to do this. So I use conventional products and conventional birth control from about the age of 14 all the way up until I was about 18 years old. Um, I had extremely painful menstrual cycles as well as um, heavy, heavy, heavy bleeding. I mean, 10 to 12 days of very heavy flow um, and lots and lots and lots of really, really bad pain. Um, I passed out from my menstrual pain. And that's not healthy or particularly normal. Um, I started doing some research and found that using alternative products, um, cloth, or a menstrual cup and going off of birth control that uses hormones can significantly reduce these things. I was very intrigued, however, I was sexually active, obviously, and um, I didn't know how else to go about it. So I didn't really focus on that. Um, me and Elijah started dating when I was 18 and um, I was with him for a long time. I continued birth control. Um, I was on birth control when we conceived CJ. Um, it just didn't work. <laughs> so uh, I did continue. And then once that happened, I stopped and didn't take any birth control methods at all. I had CJ, and instead of returning to birth control, we decided to attempt natural family planning. And I did that, and that is what I highly recommend. I did that um, for the very short time in between the two children, um, nursing CJ and getting pregnant with June. And it is fully what I intend to use. Um, for both pregnancy prevention in the future as well as trying to conceive. I uh, highly recommend it for every woman. I think um, doing it helps you learn not only what is your normal, how your body personally functions, but it also kind of explains a lot about how the female anatomy works in general, which they don't teach us too much about in school. So I really think that natural family planning and charting are great tools to learn your body, and they are very, very effective if done correctly and regularly, just like birth control. So um, since we're doing natural family planning, I don't want to use the chemical-laden conventional products anymore. So I decided to go with cloth. I already use cloth diapers. Easy transition, it doesn't bother me at all, it doesn't bother Elijah. It's easier, it's cleaner, it makes your menstrual statistically, um, they are less painful, less lengthy, and you bleed less. So maybe that's something you want to consider. Um, then I went into researching what kind of pads I want. There are a ton of different places you can go. Um, lots of different companies, you can buy them on Etsy, that's what I did. I went through a company and I don't know how to say it, Trojasic Farms, Trojasic. I will link it in the down bar for sure. Um, she makes all of her pads to order. And um, so I went ahead and ordered a wide variety in different sizes um, and absorbency. 
because I didn't know much about what I was going to like. I do know my cycle a little bit. Um, I know how much I bled with CJ. Um, and I fully intend to be an exclusive breastfeeder, so I don't intend to have a period. I'm going to have the postpartum bleeding. Then I probably won't have a period if I follow suit for almost a year after I have June. Um, now, that could change. Obviously, I could be one of those moms who starts having a normal menstrual again at six weeks postpartum. Um, but just going on my past, I won't. But if I do, I have plenty of product and... Um, yeah, so this is what I got. I She does, like I said, to order, which is great because you get to pick um, what kind of materials you want to use, what prints, what colors, what absorbency, what sizes, everything. It's absolutely amazing. So I really have a love for jewel tones, and I like um, more uh, bold pattern choices. So in this basket, I'm going to pull things down. First, I have a lanolin and some nipple butter. Um, these are from when I had CJ. I had no breast or nipple pain when I breastfed CJ at all. Um, I was very, very, very lucky in that. Um, in one of the packages that I ordered from her, I did get some of her breast pads, her reusable breast pads as well. So I have just a couple of those, and they're all stamped with her company name. So I have, I think, three sets of hers, and then a couple of other sets that I have that are just organic cotton and flannel. Um, in there as well. So let me go ahead and pull all my mama pads. This is my mama cloth. So I have, as you can see, quite a bit in a wide variety of sizes. So I'm going to go through, show you what I have, and I'll read you what I ordered as well as we go through it. So I think we'll start with this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is the one. This is her postpartum pad pack. It's six extra heavy flow pads from, you get to choose 11, 12, or 13 inches, plus a set of three extra heavy absorbency nursing pads, which I already showed you are those. So those are the nursing pads. Um, with mine, I chose 11 and 12 inches. I chose two different sizes. And I chose her hybrid um, backing, which, let me go ahead and pull up that description for you guys and I will read you what that is exactly. Do, 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 do. I should have had this pulled up. Didn't even think about it. So I did her hybrid, which is the PUL um, with WinPro fleeced backed pads that have a layer of PUL under the top layer of fabric except where the center soaker is. It is backed with WinPro fleece and is created um, to give the pad breathability as well as keeping a leak-proof um, top layer. Um, you can wear them longer than the regular WinPro fleeced back pad sets. Um, she also does PUL and flannel backed pads, WinPro fleece back pads. So I chose, like I said, the hybrid, which has both. So I get the breathability as well as the um, more waterproofing. So, these are those ones, and like I said, I ordered them in two different sizes. So let me go ahead and separate those out real quick. They're one of those things where you kind of have to just like hold them up. All right, here. So, these are the 12 inch pads that I have, and I chose them, and this one is a turquoise. I did minky on top of all of mine. I like minky. Um, from the research I've done, some people hate it, um, they don't like the feeling of it when it gets saturated. Um, that, I don't believe, will be an issue for me at all. Um, it's all about comfort, and this is so soft on your lady bits, really, especially after a baby. I think this is the way to go. <laughs> but I have this pretty turquoise one. And as you see, she does a beautiful job. Um, they have, she's sewing on these. are new. I've washed them twice just to um, have them ready for absorbency. But you just put it onto your underwear, and then it's got a little snap, so you fold it over. Snap it on, and it'll go into your underwear like that. So, I have that one. And then I have this purple one with the gray and you know, cream polka dots. And then this last one has like a dark navy material and then a really pretty print. And they're all just lined with like a black fleece. And then as I said, they are all minky on top. And these ones all have an extra heavy absorbency. So then these are the 11-inch ones. I did not do any 13-inch. That seems 
little too big for my needs. Um, I probably won't even, I did mostly short ones because I don't like heavy pads. Um, these are for right after I have them when I'm having the more heavy bleeding. They're mama cloth. So then I have, this is the 11 inch ones. There's three of those. So this one's like a charcoal gray minky with a really pretty turquoise and coral floral print. Black and white as well. But turquoise and coral are the, the primary colors on there. And then I have a turquoise one with another really fun pattern. And then this is that dark, like, navy-ish blue color. It's a really pretty pattern. So those are what came in that set. Then I went ahead and got, I believe that was a set of six, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm just making sure I have them all separate, but I want to make sure I'm separating them out the right way. So these are the nine inch minky. Um, like I said, I chose minky. You can do whatever you want. Um, menstrual pads, and you can choose the custom flow level as well as your backing and the fabrics. Um, I went ahead and did medium to high absorbency with these ones with, again, the hybrid backing. So these are what I have for that. This is like a lime green, really pretty pattern. These are nine inches again. And then I have a turquoise. And this is like a fuchsia color with green and cream and a tan and blue. The colors are very vibrant and very fun. And she has a wide variety. So many. I honestly, what I did was I told her I wanted jewel colors. Um, and fun patterns and she kind of picked and she did a beautiful job I'm very very happy and then this really pretty purple again with the polka dots and these ones what's great um, if you can notice but they have the double snaps so if you want a tighter fit or, or wider fit so that's a great little point to have and then I have the navy again this fun octagon pattern Turquoise with this, these look like little leaves. They're really cute. And then a gray with this again, coral and turquoise black and white pattern. So those are my nine inch pads. Then the next set that I ordered is a postpartum. Oh no, no, that's the wrong one. A uh, eight inch petite menstrual pads in a set of three. Hi baby, she just woke up. So I got a little toddler now and she's literally just waking up. <laughs> she's gonna make grump face, okay. So this is a set of three, eight inch petite um, pads. So these ones are shaped a little different than the rest, um, but they still have the snaps and the same thing. And these ones are light to medium absorbency. And you can choose whatever absorbency you want. That is what I asked for. So they're slightly thinner. Um, so that is, and how she does it, she actually puts on here, you know, like it says light to medium. And she also has a little stitching pattern. So on the back of the tabs, I don't know if you can see those two little stars. They look like dots on the camera, but they're little stitch stars. Um, one star is light, two is light to medium, three is medium to heavy, etc. So she has a little chart, which is really great. So that is what that one looks like. And then I have a green with the print. And then the last one in that set was turquoise. <laughs> Excuse me. And then the last set that I got of pads were do, 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 do. these ones which are seven and a half inch um, pads and I chose light to medium with the hybrid backing so that's these ones so I have green purple with the dots again I do like that she kind of carried the same patterns through so like the green is normally with that and the purples with the polka dots and so it kind of match turquoise this is a gray with coral I know it looks kind of 
reddish on the com on this camera, but it's like a coral color. A turquoise with a fun pattern. And then last one. It's that one again with the like hexagon. Got it. So those are the pads that I got. And then the last thing that I ordered from her were two wet bags. So I already had one that I'd gotten from a friend, which is just a Planet Wise small wet bag. Um, and then these are the two, she makes these two um, that I got. I got a very small one for when I'm at the light stages and it's got her company name again. Um, and it's got, I got the dual zippered ones. So you put your, your soiled ones in there and then up front there's another zipper that is separated with PUL so you can put your clean ones in the front. So that way you can carry them together but the dirty ones aren't going to contaminate your clean ones. So I have this little one and then this one is slightly larger but it again has the zipper and then they both have a little strap and they zip up and she puts a really cute little charm on the zipper. It's a little, I don't know if you guys can see that very well peace sign um, and I just think they're absolutely adorable so how I have those is I just have them the biggest one to the smallest one and then I use the biggest ones handle and I have a little tack here to hang it <clears throat> and that is how I've been storing them so washing what I've done prep wise was I wash them with a plant-based detergent and OxyClean or Biz, um, and I wash them twice, just the pads and the breast pads, um, to just get them to maximum absorbency. So now they're good to go to be worn. Um, like I said, I have a scoop of OxyClean in there. I'm going to put water. You don't want to use hot water. Hot water will set the stains and therefore stain your pads. So that's not something you want to do. Um, so I'm going to put OxyClean and probably you know cool, warm water, tap warm, not hot, in there and. Um, take them and just pop them straight in there, let them soak. I'm going to do like two or three days max um, because I can wash them with my cloth diapers. Throw them in, rinse them, dump you know, dump the water from the tub, drain them, pop them in the wash um, with her detergent, which I use a plant-based detergent for her. Um, we use Method Scent Free and um, wash them and dry them. Yeah. Just don't use any fabric softener or um, dryer sheets because it'll cause, um, it can cause buildup. So I'm going to avoid that, but otherwise they're fairly simple to wash. Um, she does send washing instructions as well as stain removal instructions for those that um, need more information on it. And there's a lot of debate on how to wash your mom cloth. You just got to find what works for you. So um, I never washed them before, obviously, besides my two pre-washes, which they weren't dirty. So I will do a follow-up video after I have him and my postpartum bleeding is coming to an end. Let you guys know what I think, if I would change anything, um, if there's a wash routine that tip or trick that I found that works amazing, you guys have to know about, um, as well as if I tweak anything. But that's basically what I have going on right now. So I wanted to go ahead and do that, and I like I said, I will link her company down in the down bar. Um, you can look at her products. There are a lot of great companies out there. That's just who I chose to go through. She was very responsive and super sweet. She helped me pick everything out, and um, I was very grateful for her help. And um, I'm very excited to use them. They are so soft, and they feel so comfortable, and it's going to be a great reprieve to not have to um, use the more stiff, and chemical filled products that I used with my daughter. So um, I will give you guys an update when I get to that point. She's getting all smiling now. <laughs> She's waking up. Uh, I'm going to go get this one ready and we got to go do some errands today. And I will see you guys later for a another update. Uh, thank you for watching my channel. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.